Assalamu alaikum, hürmetli tinglovcular. Bugün video dersimizde demek tanqidi fikirleş ve İngilizce derslerde ananavi ve zamanavi metodikalarını işletip iş bu mağhuratını şakillendiriş haqıda demek sohbetleşemiz. Dersimiz İngilizce de olup oraladı. So today's topic of ours is enhancing critical thinking in language learning a comparative analysis of teaching methods. Um, nowadays, um, language learning is not merely about acquiring vocabulary and grammar. It is, it is about empowering learners to think critically, analyze information and form their own informed opinions. Teaching methods that foster crit critical thinking in language learning transform students uh, from passive consumers of language into active participants of construction of meaning and integration of critical th uh, thinking into language learning is a cornerstone, cornerstone of a truly transformative ed educational experience. Uh, language teaching methods and critical thinking. Uh, first of all, uh, we'll try to give a definition for critical thinking and we will highlight the importance of critical thinking in, in lang language uh, learning secondly. And uh, next thing we're gonna do is uh, we will try to categorize them based on critical thinking emphasis uh, and uh, critical thinking. What is critical thinking? Uh, this is uh, Oxford language's uh, source says that uh, it is the objective analysis and evaluation of an issue in order to form a judgment. Uh, critical thinking uh, is kind of thinking in which uh, you question, analyze, interpret, evaluate and make judgment about what you read hear, say and write. And uh, we can say that uh, critical thinking is self-guided, self-disciplined thinking which attempts to reason at the highest level of quality in a fair-minded way. W nowadays, uh, who can be called uh, a cultivated critical thinker? Cultivated uh, critical thinker is someone who raises vital questions and problems, formulates them clearly and precisely. Uh, secondly, gathers and assesses relevant information, uses abstract ideas to interpret it effectively, and comes to well-reasoned conclusions and solutions, testing them against relevant criteria and standards. And of course, uh, he or she thinks open-mindedly within alternative systems of thought, recognizing and assessing their assumption, assumptions and implications. And uh, practical consequences. Developed critical thinker uh, as well uh, communicates effectively with with others in figuring out solutions to complex problems. So why uh, critical thinking is imp is important in language learning? It is important because uh, critical thinking enhances learners' ability to analyze, evaluate, and create new ideas, leading deeper understanding and effective communication. Uh, critical th thinking can enable learners to interpret real-world situations, foster independent thought and problem-solving skills. Uh, now we'll uh, discuss some uh, language uh, teach teaching methods, categorizing them based on the emphasis on critical thinking. Uh, we have divided uh, critical uh, thinking into traditional methods which focus on grammar, memorization and direct instruction. Providing, uh, which provide limited scope uh, for critical thinking as they often involve road, uh, road learning and repetition. And secondly, communicative methods, which place moderate to high emphasis on critical thinking by encouraging uh, interaction, dialogue and practical application of language skills in real life scenarios. And thirdly, exper experiential methods, uh, which highly emphasize critical thinking through active learning, discovery and engagement with real world tasks and projects. Of course, uh, we're going to talk about technology integration into uh, language acquisition problems. Uh, technology integration offers uh, moderate to high potential for developing uh, critical thinking through interactive and collaborative digital pl platforms and present, that present uh, diverse, complex and engaging language learning experiences. Now we'll, uh, we'll uh, discuss uh, tradi those uh, traditional me methods uh, which has which have uh, low emphasis on critical think thinking uh, se separately. So uh, what are those uh, uh, traditional methods nowadays? Uh, some of the popular traditional methods are grammar translation methods, direct methods, uh, audiolingual method. Um, 
which uh, has uh, key characteristics uh, that focus on language structure, memorization, and direct instruction. Uh, for example, a grammar translation method, which uh, has a low emphasis on critical thinking, focuses on written language, emphasizes uh, the ability to read and write in the target language, and uh, prioritizes an, uh, the understanding and application of grammatical structures. And it also involves mem uh, mem memorizing extensive vocabulary uh, lists, uh, utilizes the translation of texts between target uh, language and native language or source, source language. Uh, in the process of application of these uh, methods, there are some activities uh, which can be used. The, the, these activities, some of the activities, uh, focus on written language, uh, uh, reading, reading comprehension, and analyzing literary text in the target language, uh, crafting essays uh, that reflect an, under, an understanding of complex grammatical structures, writing down sentences and passages read by the teacher to practice spelling and pronunciation. And of course, in, this, uh, in, the, in the process of application, the grammar translation methods, there are some uh, emphasis on grammatical rules, memorizing them. Uh, for example, uh, sentence di diagramming, which uh, breaks down, uh, in the process of which, uh, breaking down sentences to understand their grammatical components. Um, another activity is uh, filling in the blanks, which includes completing sentences with correct form of targeted grammar points and working with uh, grammar worksheets uh, where exercises uh, focused on the uh, conjugating verbs and applying correct tense usage. Uh, one of the main, att attentions, uh, main points in this process of applying um, activities that are related to grammar translation method is vocabulary. Uh, vocabulary is uh, applied uh, with flashcards, uh, which by creating and using flashcards for memorization of vocabulary words. For example, an activity which is called uh, word. Another activity is uh, word matching, um, which uh, which is uh, matching foreign words with their native language. And of course, uh, there can be uh, done some vocabulary quizzes, uh, like testing recognition and uh, recall of vocabulary through written quizzes. A grammar translation method includes a translation process of text, uh, reading texts that are presented in both the target and native languages side by side. And of course, some translation exercises, for example, translating sentences or short paragraphs from native language uh, and into target language and vice versa. Second uh, method of ours today to, uh, to discuss is that direct method, which has a low emphasis on critical thinking. Uh, one of the aspects of this method is oral communication, which stresses speaking and listening proficiency every day. Uh, vocabulary uh, practice a, a cons uh, aspect where it's concentrated on, on everyday vocabulary and sentences. And of course, uh, no native language usage rule. The native uh, language is not used in instruction. Grammar teach taught is grammar is taught in context. Uh, Educators teach grammar implicitly through conversations. Uh, there are some activities, activi interesting activities that are related to this method. For example, role playing. Uh, it is one of the popular uh, and famous activities. I believe many educators are familiar with, with it. Another one is question and answer. Uh, it, it's a conducting uh, sessions where students must respond to questions verbally. And another one is storytelling, narrating stories or personal experiences in the target language. Everyday vocabulary usage. Um, a segment is about picture descriptions. Um, uh, in, this, in this context, uh, using images to elicit descriptions and discussions using common vocabulary. Or using realia, bringing everyday objects to, cl to a class classroom for discussions and vocabulary building. And uh, one of the main rules of this uh, method is no, uh, no native language usage uh, and to total immersion, conducting uh, the entire lesson inclusively and in exclusively in the target language with the help of visual aids impl uh, by employing visual aids like pictures and gestures to convey meaning without restoring to translation. Educators can, can use some language games, playing games where only the target language is permitted, li uh, like assignment says or uh, other games. 
Grammar is preferably should be taught in the context. When it comes to conversational skills, uh, drills, practicing specific grammatical structures through guided instructions is, uh, is really helpful in this, uh, in this part. Um, one of the issues in the process of teaching and delivering a language and assessment is error correction, where teachers correct grammatical errors subtly and during natural conversations. Repeating and practicing sentences, uh, sentence structures that introduce new grammar within a meaningful context. And now uh, we'll uh, discuss some of the communicative uh, methods uh, which, which have uh, moderate to high emphasis on critical th thinking. One of the famous popular uh, methods, sometimes it's, uh, it's, called, as an, it's called an approach because teachers can use uh, based on the experiences and the context they are uh, functioning in. So, communicative language teaching, or CLT. The second one is uh, task-based language teaching. Th this one is uh, really good uh, in the context of developing communicative, communicative skills and uh, accomplishing real-life tasks. Content-based ba interaction, community language learning. All of these uh, methods have uh, general characteristics which encourage uh, interaction, problem-solving and real-world language use. Uh, if we uh, observe the elements of uh, communicative language teaching, which has a moderate to high emphasis on critical thinking, um, it is nowadays uh, popularly used by the, uh, educators at, at all levels of, uh, of our education system. The goal of this uh, method is to emphasize the usage of language for genuine communication. It pays attention to fluency and accuracy, uh, balance between fluency and accuracy is sought with, with a focus on meaning over form. Using ma authentic materials is recommended, uh, authentic materials inclu including real life materials and situations to practice the language. Uh, educators has, have to pay attention to, to learners' needs and assess the goals. The lessons are often shaped around the students' language needs and goals. Um, to meet a particular criteria, criteria and need uh, learners' needs. There, there are some uh, famous uh, popular um, hands-on activities uh, related to communicative language teaching. For example, uh, gap, gap activities, information gap activities in, in some games. Uh, in information gap activities, students work in pairs or small groups where each member has a piece of information that others need. They must communicate effectively to complete a task or solve a puzzle. Solutions of real-world events, events or, or, or solutions where students must use their language skills to navigate the scenario successfully. Role plays, another acti other activities, role plays, picture descriptions and storyboards. Participants are given uh, roles to act out in scenarios that mimic real-life situations such as uh, at a restaurant, airport or hotel. Uh, this helps learners practice language for specific contexts. Use of, uh, use of pictures or sequences of images where students describe what they see or create stories based on visuals. Uh, discussions, debate, debates and, uh, and games like uh, find someone who. Um, teachers should are recommended to organize these debates or discuss discussions on relevant topics allowing students to express opinions agree on di or disagree and negotiate meanings. A mingling activity, another activity, a mingling uh, activity where students have to find classmates who find certain criteria, who fit, uh, who fit certain criteria, practicing questions, formation and short dialogues. The storytelling and problem solving tasks are really important uh, in terms of developing a critical thinking of language learners. Uh, these tasks encourage students to share personal stories or create narratives based on prompts which allow, which allows for a wide range of language use and encourages active listening. Uh, another another effect, uh, effective activity is, uh, is done by, by a group that requires learners to use um, language collaboratively to solve problems such as how to spend a budget on a class project or plan, plan an event. And uh, our 
Uh, next methods are experiential methods, which come with a high emphasis on critical thinking. For example, total, total physical respo response, uh, in short, it's, it, it sounds as TPR, problem-based learning, project-based learning. Uh, key characteristics of which is uh, they involve active learning, discovery, discovery, real-world tasks. For example, uh, task uh, total uh, physical response (TPR), uh, which comes with a high emphasis, which which puts a really high emphasis on critical thinking development. Uh, some of the aspects of this uh, method is uh, kin kinesthetic learning which incorporates physical movement uh, into learning to enhance memory and recall. Uh, here, comprehension uh, comes before production uh, and focuses on understanding language before expecting students to produce it. Imperative and uh, other commands, which utilize uh, com commands frequently to prompt physical response. Uh, in the application, the application of TPR uh, uh, is, is said to have a stress-free environment, which aims to reduce learner stress, encouraging a rela relaxed atmosphere for language acquisition. And uh, I would like to mention some uh, activities which are uh, related to total physical response and su successfully applied in the process of language delivery and acquisition. For example, activities like action sequence, uh, which include challenges or Simon Says, students create and present uh, illogical action patterns for others to follow, such as jump, crouch, yell, promoting the divergent thinking. A classical game, where students only respond to commands that uh, start with Simon Says, uh, this is activity, one of the oldest classical popular activities, Simon says, which can be adapted to the various uh, educational contexts. Um, uh, in the target, uh, this is uh, performed in the target language, uh, integrating new verbs and actions, for example. Manipulative storytelling. Students arrange symbolic items, uh, designating some char characters, elements to retell narrative from unique perspective, demanding analysis of plot or roles. Uh, another uh, activity, if then commands or commands or role-playing physical routines, which help to elicit conditional uh, reasoning by having commands with cause effect like if your name starts with A, then jump, requiring deeper interpretation before physical response, uh, where students act out uh, students act out daily routines like. Uh, brushing teeth, cooking or shopping, using the target language for uh, each step of the action. And some, some of the, the this uh, uh, method uh, includes some command drills and classroom objects. For example, uh, in the section of uh, uh, identification, the teacher uh, can give a command like jump, run or turn around and students respond with a physical action. This can be increasingly complex with sequences of commands. Uh, in the second case, the teacher commands students to touch or hold up items while naming them in the target language, such as touch the door or pick up the pen. Uh, the, the commands uh, always depend on the creativity of an educator and a teacher. So, uh, ne next one is problem-based learning, PBL. Which, uh, which comes with a high emphasis on critical thinking. This is a learner-centered uh, method where students take an active role in their learning process with the teacher acting as a facilitator. Uh, uh, in, this, in, the, in the process of application of this method, uh, real-world problems uh, are the key, key um, element of this method where Educators and learners use complex real-world problems as a basis for learning. Or self-directed learning, which fosters independent research skills as students identify what they need to learn to solve a problem. Uh, another interesting uh, moment is uh, collaborative inquiry, 
uh, which encourages collaborative learning as, a student, as students work in groups to solve a problem. Our next uh, method is problem-based learning, a PBL, and its activities. For example, uh, case studies of P PBL. Students are given a real-world case related to con content area. They must analyze the case, identify problems, and propose solutions. Uh, another interesting activity is mystery solving. For example, uh, educators, teachers present a mystery scenario that students must solve using the target language, requiring them to gather clues, ask questions and draw conclusions. Or uh, we can uh, mention community issues projects where students identify a problem within their community and work uh, get together to, uh, to research propose and possibly implement a solution, communicating their findings and plans. Uh, another uh, seg segment, uh, another stage uh, is uh, technology integration, integration of technology into the process of language delivery and acquisition, which has a moderate to high emphasis on critical thinking development of the language learners. And there are some approaches and methods uh, which are related for example, uh, computer-assisted language learning uh, or um, mobile-assisted mobile language learning or uh, massive open online courses, uh, which uh, in general have uh, key characteristics uh, that, mention, that include enhancing critical thinking uh, through interactive, collaborative, problem-solving activities. Uh, if we um, analyze the computer assisted language uh, learning which which which comes with a moderate to high emphasis on critical thinking it is very interactive and uh, learning process uh, which utilizes uh, interactive software to provide language learning experiences or multimedia content which incorporates uh, various forms of media such as text images audio or video and includes a self-paced this is a self-paced learning process which allows learners to progress at, at their own pace and according to their ability levels uh, one of the positive aspects of this uh, uh, procedure is immediate feedback uh, from a from an educator from a teacher which offers instant feedback who offers uh, instant feedbacks on exercises and quizzes to aid learning process um, now we will uh, discuss uh, mobile assisted assisted uh, language learning, uh, which is uh, which is considered to be a moderate in the uh, in the context uh, of emphasis on uh, critical thinking, which is actually comes as a moderate to high, which which has a, a moderate to high emphasis on critical thinking. Uh, one of the qualities of this uh, method is portability, uh, which uh, includes enabling learning on the go through mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. This is an app-based learning process which utilizes language learning applications with ga gamified content for engaging experiences. Uh, it is about contextual, uh, contextual learning. Um, yes, mobile. Uh, language learning is really contextual learning uh, which allows learning in context utilizing features like GPS and cameras for immersive tasks. It is a social uh, another quality of this method method is and using uh, this method is uh, its quality of being a social learning which often includes a social media integration for collaborative learning and communi communication practice. So uh, now uh, we will uh, summarize our uh, lecture, our um, information. As a summary, as a summary, I can say that, say that uh, impact of each method category on critical thinking. For example, uh, traditional methods uh, they offer a limited development of critical thinking due to a strong emphasis on memorization and structured learning. Uh, communicative method. Uh, we can conclude that they enhance critical thinking by promoting interactive and situational language use, 
encouraging learners to think on their feet and uh, experiential methods which are highly effective in developing critical thinking uh, by immersing of which learners in real life and problem uh, immersing uh, which immerse learners in real life and problem solving activities and one of the one of my favorite favorite ones uh, is technology integration which facilitates critical thinking through diverse in diverse engaging and interactive digital learning environment so why is this all in important importance of selecting uh, appropriate methods for specific learning objectives. Uh, it is really crucial to select teaching methods that align with specific learning objectives as, as this directly influences the effect, effect, effectiveness of language acquisition and development of critical thinking. Different methods suit different learning environments, learner profiles and language levels. Selecting the right method ensures that learning is targeted relevant and engaging, leading to better outcomes in both language proficiency and critical thinking skills. This is the end of our presentation and uh, I would like to give an encouragement for, our edu for uh, edu educators. Uh, we are recommended to integrate multiple methods for holistic development. We are advised to blend diverse teaching methods for, this, for learning experiences. Uh, this approach should address various learning styles promote inclusivity and comprehensiveness in language education. By combining uh, the structured nature of traditional interactive and interactive aspects of, for example, communicative methods, methods educators can create an environment where language learning and critical thinking enhance each other. Thank you very much for your attention to be continued. This is the first part.